Hey y'all, so, um, okay, what are we doing? Today we are opening up our box from um, Universal Yums. We have the Yum Yum box. This is like, what, box number four? I think so. So what have we had? Oh, don't do Scandinavia. that. Scandinavia. Um, Poland. Yeah, that, that Okay. Is. Oh, that is, no, wait. Oh, God. No, nope. wait. Okay, all right. This quarantine is hitting hard. Okay. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where were we? Um, Did we do France yet? No, no, we didn't get we France. We got the UK, well, Philippines, Philippines. Yeah, Philippines. Oh, that yeah, that was, yeah, that, that was awful. Thailand. That was really awful. Philippines Thailand had good. some interesting Thailand stuff. Thailand had some good stuff. Okay. Scandinavia was the best so far. Yeah. Okay. We going home, honey. Egypt. Okay. All right. Here we go. So this is the first Please one. Please don't be bad, Egypt. Please don't. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's see. Home of the original. Memphis, what's that? Memphis, yeah. Memphis. Is Memphis in Egypt? Memphis is in Tennessee. I thought so. so how is this Egypt? Egypt. How is this Egypt? How is this Egypt? Because that the... was the original Memphis. They stole it. You, know, you are still everything, but you have to like this. It's brand new. Okay, here we go. Right. Let's see. So, in each box, it comes with this like a uh, little card that it has games on the back and it has um, facts. And information and a game, you know, we love a challenge. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, we always play games. So this one is like the the tasters. It's like um, you can score a scoreboard for all the good stuff in here, and you pretty much rank how you felt about it or whatever. Um, like, did you know? Oh, it was a fact trivia. that ancient Egyptians adored cats. See, I'm not a cat. Person. Yes, I did know that. They thought they kept that. spirits and stuff away. That's, That's why, why they, they have, have the, the sphinx so they were with demonized. the cats. They're not demonized. <laughs> Say, I like okay. cats. They just mm. think, but I do like cats. Okay. So, okay. okay. All you right. gonna give so, us another fact, or we gonna jump into this right quick? You wanna jump on into it? Okay. Y'all look like y'all ready for snacks. All right. So you wanna try the tiger chili and lemon potato chips? So here's what they say. Wait, where are they? We gotta find that's, them first. Don't read that's the whole right here. Okay. Did you yeah. say don't read the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, so they can get with y'all little ZJs. Don't read nothing. That's why y'all gonna end up dying one day. Cause the sign gonna say, read this. And at the very bottom, in fine print, it's gonna say, don't enter. Congratulations, you lived if you read this. Cause oh, don't wow. drink green pill stuff. And y'all gonna mess around. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. It's so nice. And y'all gonna drink Thank it. It's gonna, gonna be X Jenners. Represent. Y'all gonna be still alive. Oh, girl, please. Okay. Please. So these are, what are these? The Tiger chili, chili and Lemon Potato Chips. A cool little bag. It's um like, it's like a duck on the back, all gold or silver. I don't know about this one. Why? It, well, it looks hot. It's got some chilies okay, on it. Okay, but listen to how they preface it. You've tried sour lemon candies, sweet lemon desserts, and tangy lemonade, and you're like, okay, I'm with you so far. But today, you'll be trying spicy lemons. Cool. Uh uh. Spicy lemons. Okay. Egyptians are no strangers to the far out flavor. Pickled lemons preserved in jars with salt and chilies date all the way back to the 12th century. Okay, and right they be right. like, where are you going with this? Okay, wait. First, you gotta open it. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, now that we got the description, it's, um, got a smell. Um, I don't really get nothing. What's that? Yeah, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, how do you see, get the smell? I don't really camera, get the smell. Camera woman got that same vibe. She got that same I vibe. I don't, okay. Look, you got to dig go, in. Um, go ahead. Yeah. It looks like a regular, like, you know, regular yeah, chip. Yeah, there you go. Dick on it. Go ahead. No, this for you. What are you? You shady. You gonna throw it on the audience. It doesn't, I don't really. I don't taste nothing. That's, um, that's kind of bland. No. Well. It's got an end taste. Maybe when it's all done, once you swallowed it, you get a little something in there, but. I can't, I can't, I don't understand it. Does that sound crazy? I don't understand this chip. Like what? It, do you, what's it taste like to you? It, it starts uh, off with like no. a it's, lemon. It's, it starts off sour. Not, yes! I, how do I not it get this? Oh my off. God, do I have covert? I don't taste that. Now is like a heck hard. of a time to tell us. I want, you it don't taste like sour, sour and then, and then it it's, no, it's that is a bland chip. It's, bl it's nothing. It's that is a bland chip. And then chip. your mouth is hot after. Yeah, yeah, that's a bland Okay. 
Now, you know, we chocolate people. We do chocolate stuff. Okay. Let's try the chocolate wave hazelnut. Okay, what? If you piss in your fridge okay, here we go. in Egypt, you'll never the arrive chocolate wave hazelnut. hazelnut. So this is what we're supposed to bring, like, people who are hosting us if we eating, like, dinner with them. Like, okay. most Egyptians don't bring alcohol in accordance with Islam. So you take this chocolate thing. And the chocolate uh, hazelnut. Flowers are reserved for somber occasions, which leaves one gift no one could ever turn down. Chocolate. Go for it. It's okay. the chocolate. And it's hazel wave. hazelnut. Because hazelnut. hazelnut is expensive, isn't it? Expensive? Yeah, it's got a little price so, okay, to it. Okay, so All I right. guess that would make a good housewarming or, you know, coming to a gift. Something with, you know. Food is better. Some hazelnut. Okay. I like the writing on the bag. So it, it's, of course, their native hand. So it's like... Really, yeah, cute swirls and stuff like okay. All right, here we go. Um, I don't know, do I break this off or do I bite it? Break off one of the little break it off. Go for it, you got it. Okay, so it's definitely a wafer. We got that part right. You know, it's a wafer. Okay, so trivia which of these landmarks was meant to stand in Egypt? A, the Statue of Liberty, B, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, C, the Washington Monument, or D, the Eiffel Tower? What you got? What you got? What's what the you first got? one? The first one. Okay. The Statue of Liberty, mm -hmm. the Lane Tower of Pisa, the Washington Monument, or the Eiffel Tower. What you got? Mm, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Who gave us the Statue of Liberty? Okay. Who so, gave us the Statue of Liberty? Which one was meant yeah. to stand okay, so in Egypt? I think it's the, the, the Statue of Liberty. You think Statue of Liberty? You think I thought it was the Lane Tower of Pisa? Okay, uh, this has a weird. I'm gonna say the Eiffel Tower. I think I think France got a little shady with us and was like, "Oh, Egypt, mm -hmm. you can have it," and then took it back and was like, "Yeah." All right, let's see. Two. The chocolate is um kind of soft, kind of like it, it's the chocolate that sticks to the top of your mouth. That kind of gives you that weird like. Nah. Wow. Feeling. That's messed up. What you may know, the Statue of Liberty was given to the U.S. by Frenchman. Frederick mm -hmm. Bartholdi. But did you know yeah. he originally designed the statue as an Arab woman? Yeah. Dun, 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 for Egypt's Suez Canal. Told Egypt's you. ruler rejected the expensive design. So Bartholdi was like, ah, yeah. the American. They can give it to the they Americans. They will think we like <laughs> them. Oh, that's bogus. Talk about re gifting. Mm -mm -mm. A whole statue. Look at that. Oh, that's good. It's a regular wafer, but I don't like the, the chocolate. Maybe it's the hazelnut that leaves like that hazelnut. weird. See, I'm not a chocolate fan. See, I'm not a so Nutella fan. It. So like it's like Nutella. a wafer with Nutella on it. Yeah. Me. Like, right. yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. All right. Where are you at? Salt? You want salty? You want sweet? You want... Wait a second. What? Uh, Did they just send us some pretzels from the U.S.? <laughs> and put Arabic writing on them? Do this not look like some U.S. pretzel? Come on, y'all. Come I'm on. Let's try this. This is apple. What's Wait, that? no. I, we can't have a candy right after the chocolate. Uh, we, we can't have a candy after a chocolate. Okay. Okay. What is it going to be? These, what about the cinnamon cookie? I want to do these. But <laughs> what in the world? Girl, they don't look happy. What are okay. those? Okay. They, oh. So those are <laughs> Kono Puffs Crazy Tomato. Okay, you want to try that? Y'all like tomato. Can't I really like dates. Okay. Tomatoes were only introduced to the Middle East 200 years ago. So they had never seen a tomato up until 200 years ago? And yet today, Egypt is the fifth largest tomato producer in the world. Oh, I didn't know. Do that. I don't smell. Yeah, no. <laughs> it smells like ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a dream come true for you. Did your eyes just light up? <laughs> Her eyes just lit up. Oh my gosh, really? it smells like a bag of ketchup. It does. That's funny. Oh god. Okay, now that we got the smell around. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> you want to try and get Okay. Wow. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Wow. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's gross. It's hot, but it's ketchup. It's like a ketchup cheese Cheeto. I need a lot of wine. Yeah, that's oh, that. Oh, it leaves a nasty ass. Yeah, that's uh, right there. In the yeah. back, it's like... Okay. I'm not okay with that. Have you ever, okay with that. Have you ever been in middle school? And you know that kid who, like, asks you, can they uh, make ketchup? Yeah. 
second bite is worse. And they just start sucking on ketchup packets. That's what it is. It's that is like straight ketchup. ketchup. Get, I'm gonna get at the you pimp because I just don't want to. Like the second bite was literally you worse. Mm. That's ke a uh, ketchup cheese pot. Uh, che uh, okay. That's <laughs> the best. All right. I love it. You. That's so weird. I'm ready to go to Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, and let me get those ketchup chips. I'm ready to get out. I'm ready to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, look, it's got you at the wine rack, really? Yeah, it's got me at the wine rack. I'm literally like, what can we That was like, not good. Drink with disaster. Ah. Okay, so here's ah. another wafer. That Oh, like a Fig Newton. What's this? A date. This is like a Fig Newton. Look. All right, see, I'm not a big date fan, but I'm, I'm, I'm gay. Okay, it's Let's a soft it. biscuit filled with date paste. Is that the duetto? Yes. It's a biscuit cookie. <laughs> Date film. I absolutely love the way they describe it. A biscuit cookie? A biscuit cookie. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. It's the it's first package like that I haven't been able to get into. Like the other countries, all their stuff is all hard to get in. Like, wait. I gotta get in this one. There we go. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It, it is does a big Newton. Like it does. But sexy. They put some little swirls on a little wave. Give okay. it a little, Make you feel a little like tip. It smells, it smells good. Smell. Okay. Okay. Um, it smells like fig I don't I'm not a big fig movie. Yeah, okay. I'm not a date fan. Like, oh, I like figs. I'm I don't know if I like fan. dates. Mm -hmm. But you know, when we went down the to cookie on the outside is I don't like the cookie on the it's, it's not crumbly. It's not a fig new it's, cookie it's on the outside. Hard cookie. It's, yeah. it's not a soft cookie. When we went down to LA and Nani and I went into that Arabic okay. shop, I did notice they lo they love some figs and dates down there. Oh my gosh, there was like, the there was like an it, entire right? like aisle for just I was like, yeah. Oh, for millennia, try. this especially fertile region has produced more dates than anywhere else mm. in the world. It's okay. I'm good. Dates I'll were pressed in the pub. wine. Hold up, now. Yeah. Oh, what he not in you? <laughs> For thousands, thousands of years ago, dates were pressed into wine. wine. That's right, girl. Cause they had no grapes. On a date, they had grapes in Egypt, though. Oh, I'm sure. I, I think so. All the old movies. I'm eating a bunch of grapes. Ah, so this is a delectable crumbly cookie. It sure is. Look, that's what they say. All comes on the table. All right, so we found out that oh my God, the Statue of Liberty was repurposed. Apparently, uh, what about how much of Egypt is desert? A, 45%, B, 60%, C, 75%, D, 90%. Whoa. 75. What you got? I got to see the numbers again. 45, 60, 75, or 90. I'm going to go 75 too. Yeah, well, I'm going 60 because I'm a rapper. Whatever. And, down. and what? Believe it or not. All oh, y'all suckers was wrong. What is it? A whopping ninety percent of Egypt is desert. I was trying to give them a bit of a doubt. Me <laughs> like, too. I was like, get some green. You know, somewhere yeah. it's got to be like. Fortunately, like the city area. You know. Fortunately, the Nile River provides the water necessary to support civilization. That explains why the Nile River, despite only comprising five percent of Egypt's land houses 99% of the country's population. Cause they ain't trying to live in the desert. Okay. They ain't falling for the okie doke. All right, what else is next? We can try the candy now. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna try the candy hey. then. Like after you had it for a while? Yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. my wine I had to clean my mouth with mine. You had to wow. Clean your palate a little bit. Okay, we're gonna, do, we're gonna do this one. And then, okay. It's like a Laffy Taffy. Mm hmm Um, it's like... Dude, that's that bitch that bitch. That's that bitch that bitch. Who remember that song? It was, it's just... Okay, it's, it's, um, it's apple. Time. I don't think it's like a Laffy Taffy. I think it's you like... Think it's like a licorice. It's like yeah. a Twizzler. Yeah. It's got that waxy look like a Twizzler. Yeah. 
That's what it is. Okay, and it's apple flavor. Uh, it's so. shaped like that um okay. that black licorice thing we tried. So oh god, not that black licorice. Okay, yeah, and like you can peel it apart. Well, no, it doesn't peel like a Twizzler that easy. Oh, well, mm -hmm. oh, back in. So which one is this? Oh, that was good. Oh, that's good. Ooh, that's that's nice. like a it's like a high chew. Well, it is a mm, taste that. Spaghetti apple. <laughs> because it feels all like spaghetti and it, it tastes like apple. Green apple, gummy green apple strip. It looks like a high chew on Sure, it. the ancient Egyptians may have the invented. The flavor of the green apple high chew eye makeup. the form <gasps> Egyptians of Egyptians invented eye makeup. Girl, you wouldn't even have that. I knew that. That, 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 that line of the yes, yes, indeed, God. yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe it. It's like a high chew. You like high chews? That ain't no high chew. Mm. Oh, the green apple high chew? Mm -mm. It tastes like that, but it's not. Mm. Is that a Jordan? No, no, that was my phone. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Pablo. No, no, old one. You decrepit thing, you. That's indeed telling me to put like hiring again. Hiring oh, again, girl. Yeah, sure. Okay. Get on, mom. All right. So one more fact, and then we're gonna um turn the camera off. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's stuck in my head. Okay. Oh, that's a giveaway. I just said that. Okay. Which of the following is an Egyptian culinary tradition? A. Salty dried locust. B. Rancid mullet fish. <laughs> C. Sandy pita bread. D. Smoked papyrus. I'm going with the smoked papyrus. What about you? But it's probably some sandy pita bread. I'm doing sandy pita What's bread. Again? Which of the following is an Egyptian culinary tradition? Okay, right. Salty dried locusts. I think that one. You just not even gonna look at the other. I, I was kind of listening. Hey. That's the one that. Okay, that's seven. Boom! All of us are wrong. An Egyptian dish made of rotting fish. A ferment, that ferment. Called. Water. Really that don't sound good. It's a local staple. It's been tradition ever since the time of the pharaohs. After rotten fish were left behind when the water levels of the Nile receded in the spring. They're like, we ain't letting all this fish go to work. Wait. Nowadays, it's a dish best ordered from the pros. Prepared incorrectly. Fisi. Good. Wait, wait, wait. You heard it and now you just now heard that? Wait, wait. You can let that go by three times. You didn't know. This fish is fermented in boo-boo. No, it's called. What did you keep that for? It's in feces. No, the name of the fish is a rotting fish and the name of it is feces, not feces. Oh. What kind of, what did you take my people for? Oh. Look, it sounds like you said feces, and I'm thinking, okay, this fish, if you already said the Pharaoh left water. behind fish and the water uh, ran dry right now. But if it is prepared incorrectly, it can result in violent food poisoning. Yeah. We think we'll stick to yums. Um, oh, okay. They didn't put any of that rotten fish in here, right? Oh, no, because that's a tradition that they pass down or whatever, and they're not for Oh, so it's a privilege. <laughs> oh, my God. That's something. I'm not worth <laughs> I'm a peasant. No, don't give it to me. That's something don't that even waste that on me. That your grandmama's mom would have taught you, like, you know, that's no. something that, like, yeah, yeah. Is it like chitlins? No, chitlins, that's just some ghetto, like, when I... <laughs> uh, uh, mama, I mean, you cannot I mean, post this video I no mean, more. Black like ghetto. is going to tear you apart. I mean, not um, ghetto. I mean, like... You better uh, start filming your mm. apology video right now because Black <laughs> Twitter is going to tear you apart. No. Oh. We need to cut I that out. <laughs> <laughs> can you start, can you back it up like now? <laughs> no. No, you can't. Stop the video. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, waiting geez. for y'all to, we can cut it oh, out later. I'm waiting for y'all to cut it out notes. But you, I'm waiting for y'all to say your, your closing goodbye. Woo! Oh, if I can bring right, you guys uh, to that one. On that note. <laughs> really? We all let y'all go. On behalf of all the melanated people of Northern California, I do not <laughs> support the views expressed by Harley Ford. Down! Oh, what? No, you know how you. I got you. I got you. Until next time.